boys and girls. It is the creator of Bored with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day. And I am getting ready to have some tea with my friends. I have Madeline, it's tea party. I have fun tea party coloring book, which includes recipes. So we can color after we're done and have some fun. And I have Ruby's tea for two from Max and Ruby. And I have Angelina Ballerina and the Tea Party. One of my number one most requested things to do with my kids on board is have tea parties. I have them with my friends, grown-ups, and I have them with my little friends. And I have them a lot right here on board with Miss Reynolds. So why don't we get started? Ruby. Hi, Ruby. All right. Since Ruby already uh, started, let's get started. Ruby's tea party for two. Ruby's friend, Louise, had a new tea set. Let's have a tea party for two. Ooh, let's have a tea. Oh, let's have tea for two party, said Ruby. Max wanted to join the tea party. No, Max said. <laughs> no, Max said Max's sister Ruby. You have to be the waiter. Max brought tea for two. Three, said Max. No, Max, said Ruby. You can't have tea for three. Please bring us milk and sugar. We would love some cakes. Please, waiter, said Louise. One chocolate and one strawberry, please, said Ruby. Max found a jar of gummy spiders. He put a gummy spider on each cake. Max and his mischief, always. Spider, said Ruby. Spider, said Louise. The tea for two party was over. <laughs> tea for three, said Max. So that was his plan all along. And that is the end of Ruby's Tea for Two by Rosemary Wells. And this is a board book, as well as a better off reading everyday book. All right, we have Ready to Read, Angelina Ballerina and the Tea Party. This book includes 40 stickers, and it's by Katherine Gullibird and Helen Craig. And there she is. This is a level one ready to read book. Just in case you're at that level, I love to let you know. So you can follow along with me. You're getting really good at this.
On a sunny day in Chipping Cheddar, Angelina was planning a tea party. She invited all her friends. She chose fancy teacups and dishes. Her friend Alice came by to help. They decorated the table together. I would like to make a fruit tart for Miss Lily, Angelina said. Can I have a taste? Alice giggled. Then it was time to get dressed. Angelina and Alice had fun choosing dresses and hair ribbons. I too had fun choosing my dress today. It actually is a dress that I wore when I was pregnant with my girl. Yeah, it's over 21 years old. And still extremely beautiful in pink. Soon, the guests started to arrive. Hello, Henry, Angelina said. Have a seat. There were games, musics, and treats. Everyone was having a wonderful time. Then Miss Lily arrived. What a lovely tea party, she said. I have a surprise for you, Angelina said. She ran to the kitchen to get the tart. She was in such a hurry that she tripped. The tart fell on the floor. Oh no. Oh no, Angelina cried. Now she had nothing to give Miss Lily. Then Angelina had an idea. She could put on a special dance for Miss Lily. I dropped the tart I made for you, Angelina said sadly. Then she began to dance. She jumped and twirled towards Miss Lily. twirled, Angelina picked up the teapot. Then she poured tea for Miss Lily. Wow, Henry said. Angelina bowed and everyone clapped. Thank you, said Miss Lily. I loved your dance. I have a surprise too, said Mrs. Mouseling's Mrs. Mouseling, cookies. This is the best tea party ever, Angelina cheered. And that is the end of Angelina Ballerina and the tea party. And of course, in the back are all of the tea party stickers. Oh yeah. 
Step into reading, level two, reading without Madeline's tea party. There's Madeline. And this is by John B. Bellman's Marciano. All right. So much fun at tea parties. In an old house in Paris that is covered with vines live 12 little girls in two straight lines. They leave the house at half past nine. The smallest one was Madeline. Madeline is hosting an afternoon tea party. The party begins at half past three. The girls come in all smartly dressed each one wears her Sunday best. One last guest is very late. The girls must sit and wait and wait. At last, at almost half past four, a most selfish boy strolls through the door. He won't say he's sorry or take off his hat, but that is Pepito, the world's greatest brat. Madeline fills each cup with tea. The girls drink up most happily. Pepito takes a sip. He makes a face. He spits out the tea all over the place. This party stinks, he says. But you know what's fun? Magic tricks. I'll show you one. Watch how the amazing Pepito is able to remove the the cloth out from this table. Oh boy. But his magic skills are fake. The cups all fly around and break. The bad hat laughs. The girls are sad. Now Madeline is really mad. If you can't behave in a proper way, please, Pepito, go away. Fine, he says. I don't want to stay. It's a silly party anyway. He starts to leave, but in comes a cake. Maybe Pepito made a mistake. The cake is a surprise from Madeline's father. The girls all cheer and hug each other. As the cake is cut, the boy's heart sinks. I should have been nicer, Pepito thinks. He is followed home by a cloud of gloom. Now Pepito cries alone in his room. Then he hears bing, bong, bing of the doorbell's mighty gong. He 
He sees Madeline at the door, but what has she come here for? There was an extra slice of cake I thought you might like to take. Pepito looks up, down, and all around. He kicks a rock lying on the ground. He says, I'm sorry for how I behaved before. I promise not to be such a brat anymore. I agree. I agree. Pepito, Pepito thanks Madeline for the lovely treat. And the two good friends sit down to eat. I totally agree with you. Totally agree with you. It's time to sit down and eat. And that is the end of Madeline's Tea Party. Boys and girls, it is Bored with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. I don't own the rights to these books that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is, I love a good tea party, especially with friends. Today, I had Max and Ruby for tea, Angelina Ballerina, and Madeline. And it was a fabulous time. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do because now we are off to color in our tea party coloring book. And then who knows what we'll do after that? You'll have to stay tuned. I'll see you again really, really soon. Bored from Miss Reynolds and bored with Miss Reynolds. Better off reading every day. Where any day with a tea party with friends is a fantastic day at board. Nothing like some spring flowers to go along with April showers and a tea party. There they are. Who will Miss Reynolds have tea with next time? It could be you. <laughs> <laughs>